The situation is just so desperate. We need to start having a serious conversation nationally about the fact that we don't have the mental health support services out there that we desperately need. I think there's uh, a lot of ways that technology can help our uh, officers do their jobs better. We do have a program out there right now that actually uh, is uh, an asset. The iPads that have been made available to our CIT officers are equipped to access licensed mental health professionals 24 hours a day, seven days a week. What's going on? Uh, I'm kind of confused here lately. I uh, don't understand what's reality and what's not sometimes. I have kind of a new thing that we have an iPad that I can let you talk to a mental health professional over the iPad and see what, what their thoughts might be. And let's let you talk to somebody from Hope and let's see what we can make happen from there and then we'll, once you get finished talking to them, we'll come up with a plan. You called me and you wanted help and that's what I'm going to get you, okay? Hi there. He called us, called 911, and asked for us to come talk to him about some resources and some help. He's actually he's in the back seat of my car, and I'd like to just hand him the iPad, let him talk to you, and let, let you see what you can make happen. And I'll just let you guys talk for a little bit, okay? Interventions that the iPad's appropriate for, I find I just give them the iPad, let them sit in the back seat of the car, let them stand outside the car, and I try to give them some distance let them have a private conversation. That way he's a little more honest about what's going on. Okay, I think that we made a good plan. He just needs that help, and so we'll make that happen. Soon. Be safe, man. I will. Okay? Thank you. Call us anytime, okay? Advancements like this are what inspire me. Advancements like this is what gives me hope when you're actually able to uh, accomplish something and uh, get somebody into a safe place.